Welcome to another installment of Test Chamber. I'm Matt Miller. I am joined today by Joe Juba. That's me. And Ben Hansen. Hello, hello. And here we are taking a look at Amplitude, the new game from Harmonix, but also the old game from Harmonix, the new hmm. version of the old game from Harmonix. Okay. Uh, now, Joe, I happen to know that you played a lot of Amplitude <laughs> back in the day. I really the reason did. I know that is because I was sitting beside you when we did it. Yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah, I, I remember playing a lot of this back on the uh, PS2. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, Amplitude was the first one I played, even though I actually went back and played Frequency afterwards. Um, hmm. I prefer Amplitude. I know that uh, Hansen is, feels differently about Hansen it. Hansen incorrectly thinks that Frequency is a better game. I like Frequency. <laughs> I like the tunnel in Frequency, uh, which thankfully they brought back. They did. This game, which is awesome. Yeah, after you beat the campaign in this new Amplitude, you unlock Freak Mode, which lets you kind of put things into a little circle. Uh, which is apparently how you've got it set right now, Mr. Hansen. Uh, I believe, since this is the debug, I forced it this way when we checked it out uh, doing multiplayer and whatnot, so yeah. it's still the ah. default. But it is okay. super the correct way to play this game, so you can actually wrap around. <laughs> we'll, we'll, tr we'll, check out, we'll check out both ways before we finish it out, because I want to I kind of show off how it looks different. The, the frequency way, as you can see, it kind of like makes all the tracks into one big circle that you move around. Whereas the amplitude path, you have a little bit better view of all the tracks because they're all lined up in a... It's like a single plane. In a single plane, yeah. right? Okay. But it does make it uh, a little trickier to get from one side to the other sometimes. Right, which you would think, I mean, when it comes down to just trying to get the multiplier up as high as you can, I would imagine all the pros would do the frequency mode. And when I say pros, <laughs> I mean the esports scene for amplitude that's yeah, going to be gonna growing be really up pretty big, soon. Yeah. Yeah. soon. Uh, Okay, so before we keep going, yeah. a little bit of history on this is that, like, the whole note highway thing that everyone knows about rhythm games basically is what, like, harmonics started with frequency and amplitude, right? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. You could you could make an argument that some of that uh, had premiered earlier in certain Japanese rhythm games, but not in this concrete of a way, in this, this same sort of, like... The structure of what became normal with with Harmonix's later games, right? With Guitar Hero, which of course eventually left that studio and went elsewhere. But yeah. It was originally a Harmonix game, and then with Rock Band, um, it just became pretty much the accepted norm for that period of time. And like the, you know, between like 2005 and 2010, when these games were just huge. I yeah. mean, a, yeah. a genuine gaming phenomenon. Um, so, uh, okay, so you, you wrote our review on this. Th yes. This, to me, as a big fan of Amplitude, this looks like more Amplitude. Yep. I think that... What did you... I'm oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. But yep. like, wh when, you, when you reviewed this, well, first of all, like, what score did you give it? Well... What? 7.75. 7.75, <laughs> seven, right? I oh, I burned it into my soul, Miller, because okay. I was quite enraged about it. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> I, I really, really like this game. But I, we can get into that later. Well, I, I like this game a lot as well. Um, I, I, I think that there were some things that they did with this game that pulled it down from what it could have been. I don't think all of the music selections have the same sort of like catchy quality that the original game did. Um, and it doesn't have the same variety of music that the original game did. Hmm. Um, even though there are some really fun tracks on here. The other thing that I took issue with was, it was ultimately not like a major thing, but it was a very strange choice, which had to do with how you unlock some of the songs, um, in which you have to basically go through, you, when you play the campaign, you have to play it all the way through once. And then, okay. uh, if you don't get the, the very highest marks your first time through, mm -hmm. you don't unlock all the songs. And in order to unlock those songs, you have to play the entire campaign again. And that's weird. Yeah. I don't know why you would do that. I don't know why you wouldn't make it so that you can just go into the quick playlist, replay the songs that you didn't score well on, and be off to the race. I guess their answer, and I don't know, I don't know what the comment is on this, but I would imagine it's because they go for kind of a cohesive theme and almost a little bit of a very subtly implied story in the campaign, so they want to keep it as one consistent the, the, unit. I, I, it's stupid. I agree. No, I don't, because that, that, that's like saying that, like, well, you watch a movie, but we don't let you, like, we don't let you 
skip to different scenes because we right. want you to experience totally. it all at once. Absolutely. Especially after you've already w- watched yeah, that movie once. Exactly. Right? exactly. Screw it's, that. That it is seems, terrible. It seems like a bad idea. Now, that said, it's not a huge problem. It's not a bunch of songs. It's just a few of the songs. And once you do it once, you've unlocked those songs. But that said, it pulled the score down for me. I'll, I'll be honest with, with you. Well, and, and also, I mean, like... Let's play some freeze pop, it's, man. It's not like I'm this, completely with you. Yeah. It's not like this... It has, what, 30 songs on it? So it's not like it's there's an over... That's, that's not a bad right. number. No. Right. It's not like there's an overwhelming number of songs. Yeah. So it seems like if you want to get the most out of it, you really do want to get all those tracks, right? Absolutely. And so I, I think that was a mistake. Um, this is, this is by the way, one of my favorite songs on, on the track list. Um, Freeze Pop Freeze, always has the best song. Freeze Pop has some catchy, catchy stuff, which I think is, is in many ways representative for me of what I like about um, Amplitude's old soundtrack, which wasn't afraid to be sort of poppy and, and, um, Bad. and fun. And, and silly at times uh-huh. uh, in the name of just, like, catchy, fun numbers. I mean, did you, was that not your experience with the original I, game? I love Frequency's soundtrack a lot more than Amplitude's. Amplitude's has so many duds thrown in there, like a little Blink-182, Girl at the Rock Show, David Bowie's Everyone Says Hi, which is the biggest piece of crap ever <laughs> made. There's a lot of duds and inconsistencies both, in that track. But both that. Frequency and Amplitude had that quality where there were, like, whether you loved the songs or not, they were, like, they were things that were easy to sort of just, like, bop along to. Yeah. And and there's a lot of songs on this soundtrack that feel like they're they're going for sort of rhythmic complexity over musical enjoyability in a lot of ways. Hmm. Um, in a way that, I don't know, doesn't do it for me. But that's, you know, it's always hard with music games, right? Like... You have to talk about the song list and compare it with other song lists for other music games. But right. it's so it's such a personal thing. Like, what music do you like? Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, it comes down to just like one person's opinion. And I'm I'm totally okay with acknowledging that there's for some people, the soundtrack on this game is going to be just perfect. Yeah, they're going to love it. I hear um, you. Like playing through the campaign and those songs in there. The first time, I really wasn't that in love with it. Yeah. Um, it is a tough task to think because they had to make a game and also basically a concept album at the same time they did. to make it all in-house. So it's not that strong. But that said, there's some doldrums in the middle, but I think the beginning and the ending of the campaign soundtrack is really, really good. Like my favorite songs on this in, in this entire game come from that actual campaign hmm. um, and, that you can play in quick play. So oh, I, that, that, that was not my experience. My favorite yeah. songs were the ones outside of the campaign. Um, that they they worked with other artists and brought in some some external artists who who have songs in here like this one um, that are I think real standout successes for the game. But yeah. independent of any complaints one does or doesn't have about the song list, I think that um, ah, that the gameplay itself in Amplitude in this new Amplitude is pretty much everything you'd want it to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, it it looks great. Um, the the actual like note highways are fun to play. It's fun to get those rhythms underneath your fingers again. Um, there's this quality about playing amplitude and frequency where your fingers actually start almost like thinking faster than you do. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Like you, you, the muscle memory of doing a particular pattern begins to kick in. And sometimes I get to the end of a particular track and I'm surprised that I beat it that I actually like, totally. completed right. that track. That's the sweet spot of amplitude or frequency is when you see something, you say, my eyes can't comprehend that, and your fingers just do it. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah. oh, what? It's I going know. through? All right. It's remarkable. You can totally zone out to the game. Um, and and that can be a lot of fun when you're playing just the way that, that Ben is right now, which is solo. Ooh. Do uh, yeah. synthesized. Yeah, this is the classic one. This is yeah. the classic one. I I might fail. I'm playing expert to show a little more difficult. I don't know. <laughs> that I don't know how expert? confident I am. No, really? no, this is expert now. That was advanced before. This is a hard. Oh. This is a hard song. On it expert. is a hard song. Well, if we fail out, that'll be a good end it'll, to this. To this look, show at us it. how it how it works when you uh, when you fail out. Um, but but I'm completely with you, Miller. Like it, despite the PS4 controller, which I was super worried about in the beginning, I do think this is the best playing frequency and amplitude game. Uh, just the actual. Note charts, and I feel like in the first two, there were such huge gaps every once in a while. 
uh, where there was just nothing showing up. You have to do the freestyle thing or something right. like that. Uh, but this one, it's remarkably consistent. And also, the big t big thing this time around is having the ability to dang it, um, <laughs> <laughs> having the ability to jump to the next track and not have to count the spaces in you between. Oh, and, and by nice. the way, you can turn that on and off. Uh, can you really? You can, yeah. Where is it? It's it's in the it's in the options. There will be, I think, for anybody who's new to the game, it's not going to be a problem, and they're going to like this new default where it automatically jumps to the next track that's open. But for yeah. those of us that know the old one, you you were like, okay, I need to go two tracks over. Yeah. So then you like tap oh, exactly. to the left twice. And so you can you can change that setting, which I really appreciate. I think that's a really cool little thing. Um, and. You know, the other thing we haven't talked about, and we've been playing solo here right now, but um, there is the other way that people, a lot of people only play this game multiplayer. And they've done a great job of of including that multiplayer and, and having something that is a fun local experience that you can play with your friends, mm -hmm. all sitting together on a couch. Um, and just have a blast. There, there's kind of cooperative options where you're you're just kind of trying to maximize your score out. But there's also uh, the competitive stuff, which you know I know Joe how much you love kicking me off the track. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Uh, is that still in here? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh good. Yeah, you can totally yeah, kick jerk, people jerk off the mode track. amplitude is like my favorite. <laughs> I, know, I know. So like that's still here, so you can play that that fun old way, and you know, it just kind of adds up to being. Um, even with my concerns about some of the music selections and how they handled music unlocks, the core experience here is really, really solid. And if you like music games, especially if you got into music games more recently in like the Guitar Hero Rock Band days, I think you kind of owe it to yourself to see this formula of, of sort of the ancestor of where it came from. And even though it's older, I don't know that it's like it's gonna feel outdated to you. Absolutely yeah. not. It's a pretty timeless design. Yeah, it's a, it it really works well. And I feel like so many people came on board with Guitar Hero and were so into like the grind of trying to get better and unlock more songs. And this is just a more pure version of that. That's a little more strategic in terms of the multiplayer and planning out your power ups and switching between tracks. It's a shame that more people don't play this, especially people that are nostalgic about like the challenges of Guitar Hero. Absolutely. And the challenge is certainly here. We're seeing Ben go through here on the highest difficulty, and it's hard. That's the high. This is the highest one. This is on expert, I think, right? It is on expert. I feel like there's another one that I could have sworn they said was higher than this, but I haven't unlocked it yet. And I've played a yeah, lot of this game. Huh. Of the the standard available difficulties, this is this is as crazy as it gets. Well, I that's think. That's good because like this seems this seems tough, but not impossible. Not impossible. Joe, no. do you want to try one that's impossible? <laughs> sure, we can end it on that. This is <laughs> this is not the not the hardest song, but that's a hard song. Good job. Thank you. Uh, what what do you think is the hardest song, Miller? There's one that stands out to me in the campaign that's well, the, brutal. The last so one in the campaign okay. is really hard. Don't put it on. Well, okay, I guess I will. I will we'll put, put it on expert and fail out and to end end our show here. I think. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take my headphones off because I. Uh, what? I tend to actually play amplitude better when I'm not <laughs> listening to it. This is. Oh, you actually wanted to play this one? Yeah. All right. I hope you're ready for a super sweaty controller, Joe. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a shame because it's the best song in the game, in my view. Oh, come on. Is Dalatech. It's amazing. So let's just do it. All right. Do you want to play it, expert? Sure. Yeah, let's give it a shot. All right. I'll blow Joe. it, but. I believe in you. Yeah, it's Wait super It's super gross and super sweaty. I think. It sure is. Something I didn't anticipate <laughs> with this game, and I'm really excited for more people oh, to. Oh, God. I'm going to blow it on everyone. On it. I, I put you in the correct view, which is the frequency view. I Joe. hate this. Yeah, um, but both Joe and I hate the frequency view. Nope. Just like the pre-release friends list uh, score chasing, nope. like high score chasing is already super fun. And I didn't even think about that. Like when this game goes out and all my friends are playing it too, I feel like that's where the real long haul of this game is going to be, is just trying to grind out these incredibly brutal songs and get the higher score. And I cannot wait for all my friends to get it on Tuesday. Shoot. Uh, Come on, Joseph. You have to date as your power up, by the way, which slows things down. Oh, that would be good. That would have been a good one to use there. There we go. I love, nice job. I love the songs that change. And I feel like the first song in the soundtrack and the last one, they both start with this very epic tone and then just break down. And I love the vocals at the end of the song. <laughs> and honestly, like the end of the campaign, only when you're playing the campaign, there is a journey-esque moment, Miller. Do you yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yes where it just gets nope. rid of all the HUD and you just play and it's this beautiful vocals in there. I absolutely adore it. Yeah. I'm so well, proud of practice here. 
Joe, I, I, I actually think you're doing really well compared, <laughs> considering the fact that the, I think the last time you've seriously played this game was in 2002. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. Something. So, you know, that's, our, that's a good look, I think, at, at Amplitude. There's, there's some fun songs in here, some stuff that's a little weird. Um, but, like this song from Insomniac? Yeah, this one's very strange. <laughs> Um, but I think I think people should give it a try. Even though I, you know, I didn't give it the highest score in the world. Sometimes that, sometimes just a number does not speak to, you know, everything about a game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and this is a good example of that. I think I feel good about how uh, we scored this game, but at the same time, I do recommend it to people, and I, I hope that some folks give it a shot. Absolutely. I'm with you, Miller. It is. I had such a good time playing this over break, and I hope more people check it out. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to playing some of it now. There yep. we go, Joe. High score uh, chase is incoming here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, check back in next time for another episode of Test Chamber.